Meanwhile, no respite for Nigerian boss as the OSHA index continues to dip further. Rotimi Fakage, a managing director of Enterprise Capital Partners, joins me to review the trading day. Thank you so much, Rotimi. It's a pleasure to have you. Welcome again. Another bearish trading day for the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The index down over 2%, uh, bringing it, uh, losses this week close to 5%. Uh, we are talking earlier about uh, the uh, bearish economic data that the market has had to digest. And uh, perhaps there are some positives today, sir. Uh, stocks that are cha trading cheap now, cheaper valuations, what yeah. stocks can investors, because while we see investors selling off, others are buying apparently. So let's talk about those stocks that investors are still staking money in. Yeah, um, at this time there are ample opportunities that uh, investors can actually take in the market right now. Uh, there are some s stocks whose, vo whose fundamentals are very sound. Uh, and among such, we have uh, the Dream Berries, we have uh, Zeni Bank, we have a GT Bank, we have Access, and I think um, to me, uh, Danwede Cement is equally one of the stocks uh, one can really look at because um, we see that it keeps expanding uh, all over Africa and also the home demand is still very much growing. So, and I think uh, looking at the, um, uh, uh, the trend for Danwede Cement in the last two uh, years has really been a very uh, um, trendy one that can act, that investors can actually hang on to and be able to get enough value for one. But, but it's not exactly a cheap stock. I mean, is it a stock that investors can even at the, the current price? It's taken some beat, uh, a beat in the last couple of sessions, but is it at a good entry point at the moment? Uh, well, at one sixty eight today, uh, as of the last time um, I, I, I was in the market, I think to me to a great extent, this is a stock that has done as much as two hundred fifteen naira at the time. So if you look at it that way, and I think at that time too, the profitability of that company isn't what we are seeing today. So it's not as much. So I believe uh, 168 or even is going to, if the market is going to come down a little f more, maybe like 165, 160 is a fantastic buy for Dangode Cement. Okay. And I believe investors will definitely uh, take a close look at it. Okay, good entry point. Nigerian breweries, I mean, it's a tricky market for Nigerian breweries. Uh, it's facing competition. Uh, it's having to play more aggressively in the value end of the market. Uh, a few days ago, I saw some new products uh, from MB, some uh, uh, products. Uh, uh, sorry? From Guinness. F from, no, not from Guinness. Oh, well, Guinness. Uh, some products uh, to aim uh, aimed to, uh, at appealing to the female gender, let me, let me put it that way. So I said to myself, ah, okay, so they're looking to be more creative, looking to you know, diversify more of their value products. But competition is still out there. So is this still a stock? I mean, you, you obviously you like the stock, but looking at the environment, the uh, industry that this uh, stock plays in, it's still full of headwinds. Uh, well, I think uh, looking at the economy generally, the headwind is there in every sector, except uh, maybe in the banking sector where we are seeing it uh, creating an aberration relative to what is happening in the economy. Um, for we we're seeing uh, maybe slightly lower demand, or the, uh, the demand is not growing, and uh, at the same time uh, we want to uh, tag that to the general economy. If you look at other stocks within the food and beverage sector, we are also seeing a downward gross earning. So I think for Nigerian bureaus at this price, I still want to believe it's cheap. It, it, the valuation is very cheap, and I believe uh, investors can actually take advantage. One thing that is very key as at this time is that uh, whosoever is buying right now, even if there's a further dip in the price of that particular security, uh, they should just look away. Uh, I think it's high time begin to play the market the way it is, which is long term. Long term. Investor, I will have so much speculative uh, trading within the market. At least uh, that has caused a lot of instability and volatility. But I believe um, going forward, whoever is same put with a particular stock for a period of um, 12, 18 months, then definitely the person will have a better bet for it. Okay, but do you think that, I mean, uh, there are several categories of players in this market. One key player in this market are the foreign investors. They can, I suppose, hold a long term view, but you know, they need to see uh, some concrete, uh, they need to see policies that they know will strengthen the economy going forward. And many times they look at what's going uh, in the now, the short term. And in the short term, our short term today, uh, there's still a policy gap. But we're told that in, in, the next, uh, couple, in the next one or two weeks, we could actually see uh, a cabinet being announced by the uh, fiscal authorities. But so do you think that for them, uh, they are willing to play long term? Uh, well, I think uh, all along, majority of them have not been playing long term. 
uh, if we look at uh, the trend, uh, the, the comparison of uh, foreign transactions and local transactions, the, uh, the volatility is more for foreign transactions. And I think uh, in the wake of the general elections, we saw a lot of capital flight. Then also after then, in the wake of uh, further devaluation of the Naira, we saw a lot of capital flight. So they took, um, a majority of them uh, liquidated their portfolio, uh, believing that uh, when Naira gets um, uh, further devalued, at least they will have more Naira when they are converting their dollars. And I think uh, they are still staying away, believing that um, the right pricing for uh, the right exchange rate for Naira is still not yet there. Okay, so, so they, they, they believe that in the, the, the true value of the Naira, we're still not seeing the true, value, still of not the, seeing the of true the value of the Naira. So until maybe that is established, uh, maybe going forward uh, with the steps that the, uh, the new government has taken, and also maybe the, the kind of uh, economic policies it's going to come up with, they, will be, they may begin to shift their attention from plain short term uh, to at least uh, medium term to long term. Uh, and I think uh, maybe we, we're not going to see any election in Nigeria until um, 2019. And I think uh, that also will make, uh, we give room for anyone that is really wants to play uh, very well and very deep on long-term basis in the market. Okay, a market for the long-term investor. Thank you so much, Rotimi, for sharing that with us. Uh, pleasure having you in the studio today.